Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is Arthur Morgan. He's a pelt trapper and hunter by trade, and now he's off once again to gather some pelts so he can deliver over to Saint Denis. But as you may know, these lands are full of zombies, and the animal population is quite scarce. But Arthur Morgan being the expert pelt trapper and hunter he is, it shouldn't be a problem. He's back by himself now, with his trusty steed and Buddy the Fox by his side. You already know John Marston has been through it, and he needs a little family time. So after a few weeks on the farm, Arthur supplied his horse for the journey ahead. He even crafted a new cart, one that would be smaller and more lightweight to traverse the various terrain. Arthur was taken in the sights before visiting the snowy area we had planned, and the zombies were taken in the sights as well, although a little hungry. And Arthur has been living on Beecher's Hope, getting a bit rusty if we're honest. So Arthur took a few punches to the face, but he quickly got back in the groove. This was the beginning of the journey. Ain't no way he about to get knocked out right now. So Arthur finally found his inner beast, hacked and slashed away, and ended it with a few punches. That's the Arthur Morgan we know. It was finally time to head off before more came though. We had quite the ride to endure. Arthur was looking for a special animal. Pelts these days were worth a fortune because how scarce they were. Not every pelt trapper and hunter could collect pelts and kill zombies at the same time. Arthur indeed had a very unique skill set. So we traveled the path with our new lightweight cart and within a few days we did reach our destination. We headed to the snow capped mountains in search of this special animal but along the way we had faced some problems. Although our cart was lightweight, fast and maneuverable. It was very fragile as well. It couldn't take the cold temperatures and even the slightest bump would break it. And that bump happened on the hunt. The connection to the reins had snapped and there was no way to reconnect the horse. Damn. And it didn't help that zombies were this far north up as well. Arthur had to crack a few heads, grab some supplies out of the cart and get armed up. Nighttime was coming and zombies loved to have a midnight snack. There was no sense in hunting at night so Arthur had to find a place to make camp. We trudged through the snow for a bit in the quiet. The sound of the river was quite relaxing but that was the only good part about these mountains. The undead were trailing us, and we had to take them out before we made camp. So we hit a couple of headshots with a bow and arrow, and we were attacked from the back. But Arthur don't like that. The zombies kept coming though, and we kept nailing them in the head. It was surprising how many survived the cold though. There was way more this time than there was last time. We had to preserve arrows, so we brought out the knife. We hit it with some swift knife attacks, taking out even more zombies. The rust from relaxing at Beecher's Hope was shaken off. Arthur was getting back in the groove, even if it did take a few punches. Hordes of the undead started pouring in but the cold was making them slow but we would surely die if we kept trying to kill him with a knife we brought out the coke pistol and the sawed off shoddy bugatti and started cracking zombies in the head damn that's satisfying one of them did end up getting up close though knocked a weapon out of arthur's hand so we had to give him a bullet to the brain arthur recollected his gun and by that time more zombies were rushing in damn where were all these guys coming from we had to stop the onslaught so we threw a few dynamite out and that seemed to stop them from coming for now we trudged farther up hoping the sound of dynamite destroyed them and we were clear so far. We found a nice little area with one zombie to clear out. We scattered the area to make sure nobody else saw us. We're taking out another member of the undead from a long range. Then we got slapped in the back of the head. We took her out too. It was now clear and Arthur was getting cold. So we set up camp, warmed up a little bit while keeping an eye out on the undead. We even had some time to read a book but after we tried to go to sleep. Arthur likes to keep his toes nice and toasty but we were woken up pretty quick. There was one more member of the undead coming towards us. Arthur's just trying to get some sleep so Arthur gave him a quick headshot and it was time to actually get some sleep now. So Arthur rested for the next few hours and woke up nice and early to get a head start on the day. We packed up camp and it was time to move. There was only so much time in the day and we had to move fast. If there was this many zombies out here, who knows if they got to this legendary animal already. So Arthur cautiously trudged through the snow trying to track this animal and we did end up finding a trail and the trail led across the river. So we took care of a zombie that was going after Foxy and we continued on the path. This was somewhat relaxing to Arthur compared to his previous adventures, but he still had to be cautious. You never know what's next in this world. Arthur caught himself gazing at the beautiful landscape, and in this world, that's something you can't do. The zombie snuck up behind Arthur and almost choked him out. Damn. Arthur got his hat back on and hopped on the horse to get out the area. Those gunshots would bring more zombies. We were still following the path though. The animal we were hunting was close by. We took care of a few skeletons that somehow were walking in the snow, as well as a few other zombies. We couldn't have them ruining the hunting fun. We were finally close though. The animal seemed to have made a home higher up the mountain, which was pretty smart. The higher you go, the less undead there are. So we went as high as the horse could handle, and then it was time to huff it on foot. But the predator already knew we were there. This thing came at us like it hasn't eaten in weeks. 
and immediately started pouncing on Arthur. This is the second time Arthur's been attacked by a damn bear and Arthur was struggling. We hit it with a few knife shots and got up to recover. This bear was ruthless. No wonder it was legendary. Arthur tried circling around a group of zombies to see if the grizzly bear would take the bait, but it didn't want undead meat. It wanted the living. But fortunately, Foxy ended up tripping the grizzly bear and the bear tripped and broke its neck. Damn, didn't know you could do that. We were then getting beaten up by the undead. Almost just as bad as the grizzly bear did to Arthur. But Arthur finally got his footing and hit him with a few shotgun blasts. But then the zombie boyfriend came in to say hi. He was dealt with quick as well. Arthur had found his legendary pelt and it was time to skin this majestic beast before the undead came by and started chomping on it. So we skinned the bear and loaded it on the horse. But soon after, the bear revived. What the hell? The zombie virus didn't only affect humans. It mutated and infected the wildlife as well. Damn, this was not good. Arthur got mauled again, but thankfully he got it together and shot the bear off. We had to double tap it just to make sure. The undead were going crazy now, but at least we survived. It was time to get this pelt over to San Denis though. Our cart had broken down and our horse was full of supplies. So this is all we could handle at the moment. The only problem is the journey to San Denis because the zombie horde was only growing and with animals being zombified as well, who knows what could happen. Damn. These lands were forever changing, but the one thing Arthur Morgan knew was true was that in order for these people to survive, we needed to gather some pelts. So we continued our journey through the snow-capped mountains until it led us to an abandoned town. But every abandoned town Arthur's ran into had hordes of zombies waiting. We had to be careful and cautious and check every nook and cranny before we rested up. That undead bear attack took a toll on Arthur. We needed to get some rest. So we went to every house, barn, and stable we could find. The stable was empty as well as the barn attached on the side. And we took this opportunity to get a few swigs of whiskey. Mmm. It tastes good. We continued moving through the houses though. The next small house we went to was empty, so we proceeded to the next. This one was empty as well, and it even had beds. This was the perfect place to rest. Arthur just had to make sure there was no zombies that could come and sneak attack us while we slept. So we left the house and went to the next. Thankfully it was empty, and then we proceeded on. All the other houses were torn apart, and this village was truly abandoned. This would be the perfect place to rest. So Arthur got those Z's in. He slept peacefully till the next morning, feeling like a new man. His lumbago was even gone, but we couldn't chill here for long. Who knows if the hordes of the undead roamed through here. So we left while it was still quiet. The ride for a few hours was quiet too. We were still deep in the mountains. There were some zombies on the path though, and Arthur just woke up. It was time to get a warm up. So we went to go strike our first zombie, and we immediately heard gunshots to our rear. There was bandits out here, and they must have been waiting for us to hop off our horse. Pelts were exceedingly rare these days. They were trying to steal it, but Arthur Morgan's still the sharpest sharpshooter in the west and I guess the north as well. We quickly dispatched the bandits and the rest of the zombies. We had to go though, those gunshots were loud. We went down the path and shortly after ran into a man who was looking for his friend. For some reason, Arthur did agree to help him and immediately after, we saw the zombies pouring out of the cabin. We already knew his friend was dead. So we got some warm up shots to wake us up for the morning and dispatched the zombies. And we went to go double check to see if this dude was dead. There was more zombies hiding and lurking though. So we brought out the dynamite to coax them out and take out a few. We sent a few Few dynamites flying and that certainly got the undead's attention and then we had a party of head explosions the ice was painted red but we still needed to get our axe warm up so he went in for a few slices as well and arthur was feeling better than if he had a cup of coffee he finished the last zombie with a swift smack to the head but the zombies never stopped coming so he finished the ones that jumped out the bush and proceeded in the cabin to check on this dude's friend he had either run or was turned himself there was nobody in sight so it was time to move on arthur tried his best we ventured through the snow, dodging zombies, trying to make our way down the mountain. And it was peaceful for the most part. You could see a few zombies roaming about and then the trail narrowed, but we had a strong horse. Our horse powered through the zombies, sending them flying sometimes off the cliff. But even powerful horses need a little bit of rest. We found a cabin alongside a frozen lake and we decided to go loot it to give our horse a chance to recover. We hit it with some sniper shots with a few zombies in the area and the rest was clear. So we went inside the cabin to see what we could find, but it happened to be looted already. There was nothing for us to take. But in that short time period, zombies were already running across the ice to come say hi. Arthur got ready to fight, but one snuck up behind him and hit him in the back of the head. Damn, these zombies fight dirty. We had another party of head explosions on the ice. We were popping heads, showing no mercy because we knew the undead wouldn't either. We cleared the zombie horde and picked up our hat and it was time to skedaddle. We were trying to make it off the mountain before nighttime hit. So we rode once again, powering through the 
snow until we hit a whoopsie. Our horse tripped over a log and sent our pelt flying. So we had to go fetch it and get it back on our horse. And then we continued, but we didn't continue for too much longer. Somebody was asking for assistance on the side of the road. And Arthur being the nice man he was, tried to help him. But this man took him off his horse and tried to steal it. That was a no-no. Arthur in disbelief shot him in the back of the head and then went to go loot the dollar that was on him. The zombie horde was coming, so we quickly hopped back on our horse and continued down the path. We rode for another few hours, past some very beautiful sights, but this time we didn't stop. And eventually we did make it out of the snow-capped mountains. Sunset was coming though, and it's never a good idea to travel at night. So we went to yet another abandoned village, and we had to scour the area first before we rested. And as soon as we got off our horse, zombies did come, but it was all good. Arthur was nice and warmed up. He hit a few strikes with the axe, and then he served up some knuckle sandwiches since these zombies were hungry. The undead were down, and it didn't seem like any more were in the area. So we checked around just to verify. The first house was clear, and so was the stables. We then checked the main house. First the side rooms, which were clear, but it seemed that this house was recently vacated or taken by the zombies. Because there was candles in the fireplace lit, Arthur wasn't complaining though. It was a good chance to warm up and relax. Arthur smoked some tobacco and chilled for a bit. That undead bear attack was still fresh in his mind. He was going to hit some Z's soon, but he couldn't forget about Buddy the Fox. We fed Foxy and of course we had to feed our steed as well. Our horse was the powerhouse of this whole operation since our cart failed. Arthur spent the remaining hours of sunlight with a much needed cleaning of his weapon. We couldn't have a malfunction and have zombies surround us. But afterwards, he rested. It was still a long way over to Saint Denis. And who knows what kind of troubles Arthur might face on the roads. There was always something new popping up. This zombie virus was ever changing. But Arthur only knew one thing he had to get these pelts over to Saint Denis.